Benjamin H. Pickering. Um, anyway, my main subject that I'm fighting here is um, the uh, Disabilities Act rights, but um, it has to do with police brutality too. Um, now I, talk, I go around the town, city and I listen to some of these stories out here and, and you know, and some of the people that get beat up or they don't have a disabled, they're not on disability, but they live like with shackles. I mean, let's resonate this in your minds. I mean, um, the, pl the police, I don't, I, I, um, there's a few police officers, I mean, um, Carl Clunt, Sir, uh, Bryson, Jackson, and Sierra Wada, Sierra Wada, um, um, well, they're, between them, beaten, uh, disabled, which is me, um, there's a prosecutor too, I mean, he, he, I don't know if they get away with, for disabled, all the officers, I mean, they get away with beating people and then not talking them into a bribery of like, oh, we want to use you as a slave for our state. So basically, I don't know, I mean, when they say police for, for police brutality, but they're out there and, they're, and they want people to learn a lesson off the crime they do, but when people keep getting away with things, what, are they think, what do you think they're going to do? They're going to keep getting worse? I mean, do they learn off that? I don't understand. I mean, when you, when you tell someone no and you say get out of the cookie jar, then the kids, you know, they usually learn that. But I mean, like for police officers, man, they they beat people, and then they want they take you to court and they want to say, oh, you want to take a plea bargain to being a slave? That doesn't make any sense. I talked to my daddy about it just a few nights ago, about what their courts are putting me through right now that happened a year and four months ago, a year or something like that. I'm not exactly how long ago, a little over a year, last summer, but um, it wasn't just like. Oh, and I'm pissed. I can hear the phone shake. He's all, my boy. If anyone's gonna use my slave as, or use my boy for any free slavery, my boy can do the work for me. He's all, I'm pissed. It wasn't just I'm pissed. Like the phone shook in my hand when he was said that. He's all, people love you, son. You know. And then I'm, and as he's t telling me these things, my daddy. You know, I'm getting it in my mind, in my, in my heart, and I can feel what he's feeling. How uh, angry someone, I mean, I'm a father, someone went and beat my son up and they want to say, oh, you want to take a plea bargain through the courts and try to get you to work community service and use it for slavery. I don't know if people will actually get away with beating people and using them for slavery and let alone for the disabled. I've been disabled for a long time. I, I, it's, it's hard for me. It really is. But being di disabled up, for this is for the disabled out there. I don't know if it's a, if it's a law that, that you can just beat people up and then use them for slavery. Come on, now that doesn't even, that doesn't that doesn't it doesn't settle with my stomach when I get up every morning knowing that I'm coming to my trial date and they want to try to push me into a plea bargain and say, oh, we want to uh, use you for 40 hours community service. It's like what? For, for the crimes that they did and trying to make me look like I'm the victim when I was going and I was under distress. So anyway, thank you.